Si Hani Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang ilang aktibidad sa 2023 Balikatan Exercise na dinao sa Sambales. Itinuturing ito na pinakamalaking balikatan sa kasaysayan dahil higit 17,000 sundalong Pilipino at Amerikano ang nakilahok sa naturang pagsasanay. Si Alan Francisco sa report Rise and Shine, Alan. April 11 ngayong taon, nang simula ng pinakamalaking balikatan exercises sa pagitan ng Armed Forces of the Philippines at United States Military. Bago ang pagkatapos ng balikatan exercises ngayong taon, isinagawa ang live fire sea drills na bahagi ng military exercises sa Naval Education Training Doctrine Command sa San Antonio, Zambales. Dito, ipinakita ng Armed Forces ng magkabilang bansa ang pinaigting na kooperasyon pagpapataas ng capabilities at pagpapaunlad ng interoperability sa pagtugon sa mga conflict situation at disaster response. Kabilang sa nanonood ng fire drill, si Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. kasama si na Defense OIC Senior Undersecretary Carlito Galvez, National Security Advisor Eduardo Año at iba pa. Naroon din si na U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines, Mary Kay Carlson, ayon kay Colonel Michael Lohico. Ang exercise agent ng Philippine-US Balikatan, ikinatawa ni Pangulong Marcos sa naturang pag-asanay. The message that we are trying to send is that the alliance is alive and that uh, we are always challenging ourselves. So uh, one Balikatan is always going to be harder and more complex than the previous Balikatan. Uh, that, that means that uh, in every iteration of Balikatan, you will expect something different. We want to do this because we want to avoid staleness of the exercise and we also feel the need to challenge uh, ourselves uh, in, in uh, be able, being able to operate at a different level. Nakatoon ang Balikatan 2023 sa bilateral integration ng command and control, sensors at multi-domain fires. Higit 17,000 participants ang sumali sa military exercises sa mga larangan ng maritime security amphibious operations, live fire training, urban and aviation operations, cyber defense, counterterrorism, at humanitarian assistance at disaster relief preparedness. Ang Pilipinas ay isang U.S. ally at ang pinakamalaking recipient ng U.S. military assistance, equipment at training sa rehiyon. The message is not geared toward anything outside of the strong relationship and bond with the Philippines. The message is, is very simple, and if I were to put it in layman's terms, the Philippines and the U.S. forces have been in a partnership since the Pataan Death March. From that time, all the way to 38 iterations of Balakatan, the Philippine forces and U.S. forces have always been allies. And allies in this sense, in a very simple, simplistic way of looking at it, is family. We all know that nothing can break family. Ang US-Philippine Mutual Defense Treaty na nilagdaan noong 1951 ay siyang pinakamatagal ng umiiral pang defense treaty ng Amerika sa Indo-Pacific region. Alan Francisco para sa Morning Show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine, Pilipinas.